I love making crosses because it's a central part of my faith. This is called Lily of the Valley. The three lilies represent the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the scripture says that Jesus is the Lily of the Valley. The vine that wraps the cross represents the scripture that says that he is the vine. And there is wood that comes out from behind the lilies, which says that we are the branches. The leaves represent new life, new growth, a new opportunity to start over every day. And the chain is made in threes with three citrine stones with three stick pearls representing again the Trinity. And the two large citrine stones represent the two thieves that he was crucified between, one which repented and one which did not. This is an Asian prince. Of course, all of this is handmade and uh, the bamboo that you see here, beads are made by hand as well. And for me, he sort of speaks to a peaceful warrior, bringing peace to his people. We had a missionary that came to our church and he had pictures of his great grandfather who was a chief of a tribe in Africa. He had on this marvelous headpiece. And uh, the picture that I saw of him inspired me to make this beautiful piece in honor of his great grandfather. I love the red hat ladies. They are secure in who they are. They are all into having fun. They're into the sisterhood, into camaraderie. And I am making an entire series of red hat ladies in their honor. Outside of my door in my garden are these beautiful violet flowers. And every time I walk out and look at them, they just make me smile. And so I recreated them in clay. St. Augustine being an oceanside town, it's uh, wonderful to be able to find shells and to be able to turn them into wearable art. So I coordinate and mix clay till I match the hues of the shell. I fill it with clay and bake it all together so it becomes one piece. Then I make uh, coordinating beads to go with it and actually turn God's creations of shells into wearable art. You will note on the website that there is a page for saints and angels. This is one of the saints. This is Saint Patty. And Patty is known for, she's always asking people for hugs. And so this is St. Patty, the patron saint of, oh, come on, give us a hug. My name is Michael Scott Roberts, and I currently live in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I have been doing art ever since I was uh, very, very young, and I uh, always had an interest in it. Um, started drawing while I was in church, because I couldn't understand what my grandfather was preaching about, so I did a lot of drawings then, and I've always loved to draw and paint. I have a realistic style of painting. I enjoy um, painting real subjects. I enjoy following the light through a painting. And I like to paint things that have a lot of detail and I can get inside that detail and bring it out. The materials I use mainly, I work with oil on canvas. Um, I enjoy working with oil um, better than other painting mediums just because it gives you um, the true color, whatever color you put down, that's the color that, that remains and uh, it works well. Um, it stays wet longer, so I have more time to work on the, on the piece, and I just love the feel of oil paints. Um, this is a book that I created called A Big, Big Dream. It is a book about the life of Milton Hershey. It's kind of his rags to riches story. Um, it's important to me because I live and work at the Milton Hershey School, and it basically is a story of inspiration for children everywhere that just like Milton Hershey worked in and became a success in chocolate even though he tried and failed many times, um, he followed his big, big dream. And the story is to encourage children everywhere to follow theirs. Growing up in a household, my father was a minister. And although he traveled the world and spoke around the world, where he really made his living and money was through his art and through his birds. He was one of the foremost wood carvers of birds in the country. And so I grew up in an, in an atmosphere surrounded by art. Uh, we traveled all over the country. My father was a naturalist. We fished in every stream. We hunted on every mountain. And I was his tag along. I was always right behind him. Uh, he would recreate in paintings, also in his, in his work, what he saw and what he experienced. My grandfather was a big influence on me artistically and just morally. He was a great, um, he was a wonderful pastor and a wonderful grandfather. 
um, but I would see in him, I would watch him do his birds and watch the detail and the care that he did with them and, and see his passion for creating art. And that led me to draw, start drawing birds and animals and things like that. And I would do that while I would uh, stay with him at times. And uh, so I really attribute my artistic um, kind of heritage through him first. I'm honored to have the art of Anne McGlade in my gallery. And this is a red hat lady. They were having a convention here in St. Augustine and we were just captivated by her spirit and her smile. This painting by Anne McGlade is called The Rabbi. I absolutely adore this painting. You can see that he has been working at his desk. You can see the stacks of papers and obviously he is contemplating something of great spiritual and moral value. The ballet class is one of my favorite paintings by Anne. Um, actually, the one on the end, I believe, is her granddaughter. And she went to pick her up from a ballet class, and they were all waiting in line to get their little matching bracelets for a recital. This is a day at the beach by Anne McGlade. Two children playing in the ocean, picking up shells. It just doesn't get any better than that. I'm honored that my friend Ray Pollen joined me here in the studio. He lives on a big boat and he travels around and finds shrimp boats that have been um, basically decommissioned. He recovers the wood from those and the tin and the metal and all of that and makes these magnificent wall sculptures. His pieces range anywhere from the 120s up to several thousand dollars and he is an amazingly talented artist. I want the Drake Roberts Gallery to be remembered for the experience when you come in these doors. Um, people tell me all the time when they walk through these doors that they feel the love that's in this place because every artist that works here makes each piece not just for a business reason, but because the love of the art itself.